Steganography. Can you hide messages in clear sight? Written by Luke Slytalker. That's me. <laughs> Steganography has been around for hundreds of years. No, that's not a type of recently discovered dinosaur. It's an age-old technique for concealing information, data, something, within other information, data, or things. Famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci use steganographic techniques to embed messages in other images within the content of his paintings. At its root, steganography is simply concealing one thing by using another. It is often referred to as hiding in plain sight. In this example of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, it was discovered that the bread rolls represented notes on a musical staff. When the notes were played, but played from right to left, as da Vinci was known for, it produces an interesting melody. Steganography comes in many forms, and the data exchange methods are truly only limited to the encoder's imagination. As long as you provide a path for reverse engineering your embed, you can pretty much create your own proprietary way of doing things. This means, as long as I give you the right key, you don't have to understand how pins and tumblers inside a complex lock work. You just need to know that when you put the key in and twist, that door will open. A cryptic group known as 3301 or Cicada 3301 used digital steganography tools to create puzzles and challenges that were said to be a recruitment game for a secret think tank or even clandestine intelligence agencies like the CIA or NSA. Whether this is true or not is another story, but what it is known for sure is that Cicada 3301 often used a program called Outguess to embed information into what seemed like plain, innocuous images. This example below is one of the tests that was posted on the internet for their starting of a puzzle, and it reads... Cicada 3301. Hello, we are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in this image. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck, 3301. Now, this may not be far off from what is and was happening on 4chan and 8chan. Years ago, 4chan was rampant with we'll call it CP, steganographically embedded into memes. This is where the phrase in the meme, mods asleep post sinks" originated. If you're unfamiliar with this portion of internet history, it is a dark one, but necessary to understand. And the image below is actually an example of when someone apparently is posting steganographically embedded archives um, of illicit content. So users would secretly embed archives of illicit material into pictures of kitchen sinks, cats, etc. Then another user, a buyer, can be alerted to where the image and archive is stored so they can download it themselves. Data transfer. Below is an example of some images you saw on 4chan. Obviously, this was a fairly, we'll say famous with air quotes, one that was posted on 4chan and poll uh, back in July of 2018, and it was a Photoshop picture of Sarah Silverman. And this led to a back and forth exchange, obviously, where steganography was alluded to and the program Pixel Knot was referenced. So, when it is said that you have more than you know, it takes on a slightly different meaning, especially after a little steganography background. How many messages could have been transmitted right under our noses and right in front of our very eyes? Is it just a matter of time before someone finds something embedded in an image which makes the Q phenomenon impossible to discount? Maybe even a finding that forces the question to be asked? All those dog pictures on Twitter? The off-putting Tom Hanks images on Instagram? What about all those weird pictures in the Podesta emails? Yeah, we're already looking at those. Only time will tell, but I hear that a picture is worth a thousand words, so we have a heck of a lot of images to start reading.